Hello everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightarama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to upgrade your personal S4 sequences into S5 format. The process to upgrade sequences was greatly simplified after the release of LOR version 5.5.0. Your first step to upgrading a sequence is to make sure you've imported your S4 visualizer or created your new preview in S5. Make sure all of the channel assignments are the same as your sequences from S4 for the easiest transition. To add a visualizer file to S5, go to your preview tab on the right side of your screen. If this tab is ever missing, you can reset it by going to Window, View Previews Window. The icon with the left facing green arrow will allow you to import your visualizer. Your S4 visualizer will have a .lee file extension. You can rename your new preview, then click OK. After the visualizer converts to S5 format, here is your opportunity to clean up your prop shapes and ensure that all of your channel assignments match the assignments in the LMS files you will shortly convert. Double click on any item to edit its properties. If you'd rather rebuild your preview from scratch before importing your sequences, check out our tutorials specific to creating previews. To open an S4 sequence, go to File, then Open. Find your file, then double click. Beginning in version 5.5.0, this import window will appear when you try to upgrade a file. The first step is to choose your preview, which should be the visualizer you just imported or the S5 preview you rebuilt. You can build a preview during this import process, but it will be much easier if your S5 preview is completely prepared before you import your LMS files. Once you've chosen your source, click Next Step to map your channels. When upgrading S4 sequences, the software automatically matches props by their channel assignments, which is why it's so important to correctly build your preview. The bottom section shows which channels were successfully matched according to unit ID and channel assignments. The top section shows which channels from the original sequence did not have a match in your display. If you correctly imported your visualizer or built your S5 preview with the same channel assignments as S4, you should have no unmatched channels. My three unmatched channels are beat channels that did not have any assignments in S4. If you do have an unmatched channel, you can double click to open a pop-up that will let you assign it to a specific element in your display. If you need to add one of the unmatched props to your preview as a specific element, single click, then add it to the preview with one of these four options. You can add it as a beat channel, draw a new string, add a floodlight, or add a temporary star shape so that the channel assignment transfers and all you have to do after import is open the preview editor and select the correct shape for that channel from the dropdown. Once all of your channels are matched, click Next Step and your sequence will import. Any unmatched props will be archived. Check out our tutorials specific to archived props for more information. Add your music file by going to Sequence, Media File. Don't forget to save your sequence once you've completed the upgrade so that it converts to the LOR Edit file extension for S5. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.